What's good, everybody? It's Kiki, aka Garage Next Door. Um, it's a little windy right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but uh, yeah. So this is I've been waiting for a dude to do a video like this for the longest time. Um, so we finally, 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 finally got the S Class bridge. So um, yeah, you ready to see it? I'm excited to show you guys. Here we go. What's up YouTube, it's Kiki aka Garage Next Door. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the garage. This time we're gonna be looking for some wheels. Yes, I said wheels for the S-Class. So today we're gonna um, go pick them up. We're a little late right now, we're behind schedule, so we're gonna go check it out. Uh, we're gonna go see um, if these wheels are worth it. For what the guy is asking for and um yeah so you're actually looking at me from the past also this is pre-recorded so you guys are looking from this um in the past actually um so this is going to be presented in the future um as you can see we got a bunch of snow behind us and it's pretty cold so yeah we're gonna go uh get started we're gonna start the car we're gonna um get ready and we're gonna drive there and we're gonna see if we're gonna bring these wheels back or not. So let's go. Don't forget to like. Ha. Okay, and we got them. <laughs> so yeah, we got the wheels. Um, we came to a deal. Doors closed in there. So we came to a deal and uh, ended up getting the wheels. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys the front, everything like that. Um, tires a little worn out, as you can see right there. So. Those are gonna be replaced. Uh, we got these for our steel. So let me just try to remove all of this. Just give me one sec. So guys, these are the new setup. Uh, these are AMG wheels. Um, yeah, they're pretty sick. So <laughs> we got them for a good price, man. Um, so the plans for this is probably we're gonna maybe replicate the, uh, just strip all the paint off basically. And then um, we're gonna outline so the outside's gonna be kind of like the gunmetal gray, maybe gunmetal gray. Uh, probably do it chrome or something like that. Leave the inserts black. So uh, I might just put up a picture of like what I'm kind of rep might replicate. Um, these are 19. So this one is 19 by 10, and the fronts are 19 by 9. So this is a stagger set going on this bad boy so or this bad girl so uh, we're gonna be fitting it to there so what we have to do is we're gonna have to get brand new tires as you can see they're kind of worn down showing a little bit of belt right there so uh, that's gonna have to be replaced and everything like that so um, I heard with all-wheel drive cars you're gonna have to um, basically uh, match up the tires am I am I right or am I wrong so you have to match up the tires so for example you have to do um, two 55 35 19s all around rather than um, for example 255 uh, 35 19s in the front and then 285 40 or something like that 19 in the rear so um, they said that if you do it that way you won't have any issues with your traction control tra transfer case all that stuff all wheel drive cars but yeah um let's just uh lean it up against the car and see get a little preview of what it will look like so these are pretty sick man like the video doesn't really do it justice but um yeah these wheels are pretty sick so guys this is this is what it will basically look like this is a little rough sketch of uh how the wheels will look like so of course hopefully we get the AMG bumpers side skirt and all that stuff on um it looks wicked so we just go down a little bit get a little we squint a little bit you get the idea <laughs> so look at the comparison you can't really tell so like look how wide that tire is man like just like that but yeah that's the idea so yeah. So as you know, the last time that um, I showed you, I was picking up wheels for the uh, S Class. So apparently, those wheels were um, staggered. So 
my uh, S500 is a 4Matic and you know staggered wheels can't go with um, certain cars I guess um, so I didn't want to risk it I ended up selling that set and I ended up buying another set they are the ML63 AMG wheels and um, <laughs> And basically, they um, they're 19s, still 19s, non-staggered, and they are. Um, I think they're a little bit better than these ones. So I'm gonna open this door behind me, and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. And we're gonna, yeah. So here they are, the bad boys right here. So I've been working on these uh, the last time um, I was in here yesterday. So I want to show you guys just the progress and everything. So um, I'm gonna tell you a little story and why we're putting these on the S today. So recently, um, as I was driving the, um, the S, took it out for a uh, you know, drive, whatever, just driving, and on my commute, it was a road that we didn't really take um, before, so uh, what had happened was the tire had blue. <laughs> so we had a bad, bad pothole. So if you're in Canada, you guys know the struggle. So basically what had happened was um, the tire blew, had a spare tire, thankfully, for to get home and everything like that. But the spare tire was thrown code. So the ESP was going off. The uh, ABS was, you know, going haywire and everything like that. So um, had to pull over, start the car over, drove again, and, um, you know, did the same routine. No luck. Came back on. Uh, I ended up turning off the ESP just by pressing the button on the dash. Got home, no problem. I uh, wasn't governed there to, like, you know certain amount of speed due to the um lip mode so was able to get it home uh and it's parked over there and everything like that and all that jazz but basically guys spring is here and it's basically spring and uh car season is officially here hopefully in canada so we're gonna um get to work on it i got my uh work get up here so we're gonna finish on these wheels and we're gonna mount them to the s and we're gonna see how it drives. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't run into no errors. Um, knock on wood. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is the shed, guys. And this is uh, what we're working out of. So yeah, let's uh, finish these up and throw them on the S. <laughs> As you can tell, if you go back to um, the other previous videos, we were working on the S-Class. So we picked it up from a, um, it was a little far out from like where I live and everything like that. So we had to tow it back. Um, so the car, it wouldn't drive. So um, what we had to do, we had to tow it back, get it home. Um, the drive shaft was going out of it. Uh, steering rack was busted because when the front drive shaft is all wheel drive, when the front drive shaft broke it um it kind of hit the steering rack causing it to leak and everything like that um silly minded people that towed the car from where it was um it was like stuck in the uh, middle of the intersection somewhere in, uh, wherever and it broke and basically the uh they tried to tow it from the the tow the tie rod ends so basically that ended up breaking um, causing it to bend and everything like that. So that set us back to uh, doing the tie rod ends and getting a whole complete new steering rack and everything like that. So as I'm talking, I'm probably showing you guys the clips of underneath the car and what we had to do. I didn't want to record the process. Just it was a lot, man. It was a lot. It took it took a lot out of you know of doing it because it was just so much work and it was just frustrating and I didn't think I really would have got the car fixed. So, um, fast forward to a few months later, got the car done, got the wheels and everything like that. We're still working on what we need to get done. Um, like with the AMG bumper, um, the AMG bumper, side skirt, rear bumper. Um, a little bit of fix up here and there and everything like that for to make it a true daily driver S-Class. So, um, the wind is a little I don't know where the speaker is right there, but anyways, um, yeah, without further ado, we're going to take a tour around the car and show you guys the final results. Let's go. And what's a video without a proper montage of the car? So I'm going to cue that in right now too. All right. Kiki on the 
on the track. So guys, what you think? What you think? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, do you guys like the uh, S class in general? Do you guys like this chassis? Uh, if so, comment. Do you guys have? Like, do you guys own any of you guys own one of these? This is so. This particular um one here is a 2003 S500 um formatic from Mercedes. This is the flagship vehicle from, if you don't know, this is the flagship vehicle for the uh, the brand. It was produced from uh, 1999, uh, started in Europe, and then uh, 2000 they brought it to the States from um, my knowledge. And it lasted, this body style lasted until 2006. Um, so yeah, this is... One of the particular body styles of the S class that I like. Um, I was a f like I am a fan of the um, the two the, the 140 the W140 the, the iconic W140. Um, but in terms of styling, uh, for me this is a little more better just because you know this is more rounder uh, everything like that. And uh, compared to the 140, it was more boxier and that type of style. The uh, one after this, the 221. Um, that's you know that's that's next level right there um, in terms of styling and such like that. But I find that the W220, uh, you know, it's a mix of both between the two generations, and this one is just in the middle. Um, so I like I I personally like prefer, and I'm very 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 thankful that I was able to find you know this in such you know decent condition and uh, you know without breaking the bank too much and especially on these wheels these are 19 inch uh ml 63 replica wheels um that i found they are 8.5 all around non-staggered uh so that's what i was looking for something that i you know running running up the tires and getting the tires every few months and um i find that this style really suits it especially for the look that we're going with uh you know for amg uh so yeah if we can just go to the passenger side should be going to the driver's side but i'm gonna show you guys the interior a little bit so um yeah the interior really cleaned up for itself it really looks good so um from as you can tell from the last video it was really dirty uh things all on the floor hair getting in the way <laughs> so here uh not here uh yeah it was real dirty um pop cans and everything like that it was all in the car it was disgusting it had dog hair in it uh it was smoked in all that stuff so um you know it's very unfortunate that you know why would you you know smoke in the car like um luckily the owner that was that had this before me they didn't have the car for that long they probably drove before probably about a month month and a half until you know it met its uh demise so <laughs> um yeah so i seen this car this car was um i seen this car it was in i was in i wasn't fully in the market for it before but um when the person brought it don't mind the uh, you know some stuff here <laughs> so i bought it from the person that i wanted before but wasn't in the market it was too much he ended up selling it okay i'm like cool because i had uh janice before i had janice at that time so i was like okay i'm gonna rock with that but it was real, real drive and we live in canada and uh it gets a little uh messy here in the winter so right now is spring as you can tell it's spring no more snow finally so warm weather but today is just looking like england uh it's new scotland by the way guys <laughs> so um <laughs> a little jokes there so um yeah just going back to the car so as you can tell the leather is like super nice super nice super nice i'm probably just adding a montage of like that back headrest right now 
just because it looks so damn nice so <laughs> anyways um yeah just a little bit of like nicks and tears and everything like that hopefully we can fix it in the, sometime in the future um you know the previous owner had a dog and everything like that a little puppy at that so that was that was a good thing it wasn't a big dog or anything like that so it didn't cause too much damage and the um leather and all that good stuff so the bench it cleaned up a little a little bit good when we were cleaning it in the video um wasn't too bad uh but yeah so let me just close that um as you can tell oh hold on okay so this is this is why i like mercedes and like luxury cars like this is the first time so i'm gonna i'm gonna close this door and um you already know what's gonna happen <laughs> most of you guys probably know what's gonna happen so they close it oh wait close it oh just because it's on camera okay so we're gonna go to this one sometimes they work sometimes it doesn't do that nope didn't close it fully there you go you guys see that yeah i ain't gonna do it again but you guys seen it <laughs> So, um, yeah, brand new battery and everything like that. These wheels are so nice. Um, a little bit of rust on the arches and everything like that, but that's not nothing that, you know, we can't fix. Um, you know, just minor stuff. Uh, got the exhaust tips and everything like that. Um, S600 style. Um, we got it from a donor car in the junkyard and everything like that. We're so lucky to grab it. I was going to get the wheels for it, but... Like the Rock has a winter setup, the S600 wheels, but they uh, they were gone. So let's just uh, pop the trunk for a sec. It's a little messy, but you can tell um, we got some space. We got some space in here and everything like that. A uh, little messy. I like cleaning the car a lot. Uh, we just polished polished and detailed it yesterday, and then it ended up raining. But it's worth it because uh, this polish. Uh, I'm not gonna really and, and endorse them right now but uh you only polish it once a year and that's pretty cool so we just tested it out i'm just rambling right now but anyways this is the trunk space uh we're gonna work on getting the navi desk for the um navigation obvious um after we get a little something with the car and everything like that so um yeah this is the trunk space not much to it because it's real messy uh so we're gonna close this so you got this right here in case you're locked up so in it so um let's close like this so yeah so the uh the 220 was very very futuristic at its time um it was very um innovative it was very uh very very different so uh let's just lock the door very different very futuristic um you know one of its kind uh cutting edge so this is really uh you see in the models today of uh mercedes so just watch that mirror that's my favorite that's my favorite this closes like there's a setting you can put on it and it just unlocks it unlock it and then let's do that and it just opens so yeah we're gonna hop in the driver's seat we're gonna turn on the car and everything like that and um just show you guys around yeah um, we ain't got no growl so don't expect to be like a loud you know loud exhaust everything like that so don't expect that we always keep the car at full um let me know if you guys think that's a good thing to always keep the car at full um just you know i'd rather just keep it at full rather than stopping at the gas station all, like a lot so um but yeah so i'm gonna start up the car and uh just hear the exhaust and, it, and everything like that it runs very clean We got 290,000 as as of this video we got 290,048 um, on the dash and that was from uh, so we got the car at like 264 or something like that look at that that's crazy I didn't even know that so <laughs> we're almost we're 10k away from three 300,000 that's I find that's something that should be celebrated um, you know not look I frowned upon yeah of course like it's like the depreciation is like garbage and everything like that but i don't plan on knock on wood i don't plan on selling this car i don't plan on selling it i want to keep it um for as long as it's possible to keep and um yeah and you know just keep this in uh one of the many fleets in the near 
near in in the future so that's just pretty good leather it looks really nice in here guys uh we saved this car this car was legit a garage find um or if you want to say a burn find um i'm gonna put out the pictures again because i i cannot you know stress enough um i do have old pictures from the original ad i'm gonna show you guys right there um but yeah you can see it in the driveway um pretty good car it was pretty stock and everything like that um the owner at that time like at that location um that had it up for sale he really took care of the car he really uh you know kept up the maintenance all that good stuff he kept up with the maintenance uh only drove it you know on certain days certain occasions um he was he would always come up my street and um you know i, I would i was just be scargate like scar like star days in like <laughs> looking at it because i never i don't see um these year of Benz is you don't see them as much um especially where like in my area so i was like you know i was really appreciative and i i really wanted one um because just because it has more leg room more space at night actually um it has like ambient lighting but like that's what i'm saying like for the, for this year like for the o, o3 like for this gen for this gen um it was it was a like it had a lot of stuff in this vehicle that normally other cars didn't at at, at that time so mercedes is always known for you know doing everything first they would hell they were the first cars that had the um the seat belt so if you didn't have a seat belt like if mercedes didn't come with a seat belt yeah maybe another manufacturer would have came up with one but yeah what a, okay I'm getting sidetracked. I'm talking about Mercedes a lot. Well, you, this is what you guys want to see. So, you know, I'm just, I can just speak nothing but the truth. But 290,000 clicks on this body, on this engine. Motor runs great. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna try to set the camera down. I'm gonna uh, start the car back up. I'm gonna show you guys the exhaust. Note if anyone's interested in that. So, <laughs> just one sec. All right. So guys, um, that is the um, conclusion of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, this is, I guess you can call it the um, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So you can call it the eight month report on it. Um, so yeah, um, the eight month report. Um, the car is pretty good. It only let us down probably once and that was a bad alternator, but we have picked up a new alternator brand new battery and uh yeah the car has been ever since super reliable if you're looking for it, uh an s500 or s that that um don't listen to it it's pretty on it's your um, dreams and ambitions and everything like that so um the reliability is good don't listen to everybody the parts aren't expensive at all um so just if you know where to shop if you know how to shop um so yeah uh it's a pretty good car, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it looks really good, pretty, 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 pretty. Um, but yeah, so this is the um, the monthly report uh, that we're looking at this, and um, I'm so excited, so excited for the future of this car, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. This is a good step up, uh, new project daily, whatever you want to call it, my you and. Um, yeah thank you guys for tuning in just once again i always say thank you because it's just so great and everything like that so um but yeah so we're gonna be leaving we're gonna be working on um new stuff uh i got another episode coming out um it's gonna be the uh working on the bumper the AMG bumper and everything like that more stuff on the way uh you know detailing everything like that um just, just making it good so <laughs> yeah that's all i can really say so until next time, see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, all that stuff, share, and everything like that. Um, yeah, and welcome to the garage if you're new to this. All right, I'm Kiki, signing out. Bye. Ah.